Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing quadratic expression chapter 4, like paper uh, 2013 May June. Few questions. You can see the curve uh, lies above x axis, the curve lies below x axis, and we need to find the set of values of a quadratic x like inequality and a curve and a line meets like does not meet. So, this is the topic today. If you think this topic is useful, just continue watching my video. Question number one, find the set of values of K for which the curve, this curve is below X axis. This is like here, the important part when we have like, like the curve is there, like X axis is there and the curve is positive X square, I mean this is above X axis, above X axis. So above X axis means this curve will not intersect like here, the X axis. So it means the B square minus 4ac because when it does not intersect it means there is no root when there is no root we write less than zero so this is the first condition now from the equation you can see 2x square plus kx plus 2k and minus 6 where a is 2 b is k and c is the constant value without x so that's c so now when we substitute here is coming k square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is 2k minus 6 less than 0. Now this is very simple to like now we can just simplify now. It's coming 8, 8 times 2 is 16k minus minus is plus 8, uh, 8 times like you can multiply here is 48. So now we have a quadratic. Uh, like inequality so we need to make the factors first of all so the factors are coming k square minus multiplied get 48 and plus to get 12 means 12k and 4k so that's the factors and k is common so k minus 12 minus 4 is common again k minus 12 so k minus 12 and k minus 4 are the factors now be careful here when i just do one thing here in the side the k is coming 12 from here and k is coming 4. what was my method actually i explained in chapter number four the small value we write here the large value we write here we write k in the middle and the same sign we can write like this so this is the easiest method the easy, minimum value is 4 and k and the large value is 12 and we have done our question number one question number two find the set of values of for which the k of this curve here uh, lies below x-axis it means the curve will be definitely like this the curve will be here the curve will be here but one very important thing if the curve is like this it will definitely curve like curve the x-axis it means the curve should be like this it it is possible okay so now let's start b squared minus 4 ac is equal to because we are not sure the curve is like this or like this so i will just write equal to zero and find the values of k so k is coming when we see this curve the a is k plus 1 b is minus 3 and c is k plus 1 and when I work here, B is minus 3 squared minus 4. A is K plus 1. And C is also K plus 1 equal to 0. I have two options. I can expand and I have one more option. This 9 is equal to this whole value. We can shift in right hand side. K plus 1 whole squared. This 4 can divide here. And when I take the under root both the sides, what will happen? k plus 1 is equals to plus minus 3 upon 2. This is the shortest method actually. You can expand and you can use the quadratic like formula or quadratic your factorization but 3 upon 2 minus 1 and k is equals to minus 3 upon 2 minus 1. So the k is coming 2 is coming 3 minus 2 upon 2 is 1 upon 5. 
sorry, 1 upon 2. Here, when we simplify, it's coming 3 minus 2 upon 2 means minus 5 upon 2. K is coming minus 5 upon 2. Now, we have to decide which is the right value of K. Because if K is positive, then here, with x squared, this part, only this part, like k plus 1 x square if i write positive value this whole the coefficient of x square will become positive and the curve will become like this and it will cut x axis and the question is given this below uh, x axis means definitely it will be like this so negative this should be negative so for negative purpose i will use minus 5 upon 2 the value of k plus 1 and check this is minus 2.5 is coming minus 1.5 x squared is negative. So I think so no, I, I believe this k is minus 5 upon 2, not k 1 upon 2. You can see. I think so. This is 2013 uh, variant November. And 1, 2, question number 2. Check it out. You can get the answer right. Question number 3. Find the set of values of x for which the quadratic inequality is given now. So, x square plus 5x minus 6 less than 0. We need to make the factors first. So, multiply to get 6 and minus to get 5. So, plus 6x or you can write minus x and plus 6x and minus 6 so that we can keep common easily. 1 and 6 are the factors. So, x minus 1, 6 common. Again, x minus 1 and x minus 1 and x plus 6 are the factors. When I just do in the right hand side, x minus 1 equal to 0 and x is coming 1. And x plus 6 is coming 0. So x is minus 6. And what is my method? I explain you the small value, the large value. In the middle, x and the same sign you can use. So what is the minimum value? Like minus 6 or 6, or 1. So minus 6 is the minimum value. And 1 is the largest value here. And we got the answer set of values of x. And we have done it. Question number 4. Find the set of values of q for which the line does not meet this one. Does not means like your b square minus 4ac. Less than 0 means does not intersect the curve. b square minus 4ac. And does not end, uh, we, if we write equal to 0, it means it meets the curve, meets or touches the curve. But this is equal to 0 and uh, sometimes we write b square minus 4ac like greater than 0 when uh, the, it intersect with the, like the two points of intersection, two points of intersection. So be careful. So we have to use this. Or a curve when there is no intersection and meets the curve is well, very important property when meets the curve is, is also called the tangent so this starting this question now we need to put the value of y in the quadratic uh, equation so 3x minus k i have substituted here here so it's coming k x square plus 11x and minus 6 so the kx square plus 11x and 3x when I shift in right hand side. So it's coming 8x and k and minus 6 uh, and k. So I write k first and then minus 6. That's easy for me. So a is k, b is 8 and the c is k minus 6. Now I can use uh, this one b squared minus 4 ac less than 0 b is 8 squared a is k and c is k minus 6 less than 0 so just we need to work out now uh, this is 4k so 4k squared minus minus is plus 4k is 24k less than 0 uh, now what we can do, we can write minus 4k square plus 24k and minus 64, sorry, plus 64 less than 0. Now, 
I want to make this case square positive. If you make case square positive, it means all the sign will be changed. And one more thing will be happening. This inequality will also change. This is very important here. Uh, if we take four common, uh, the four common means uh, 6k. And when we have four, here is four times one and four times seven is uh, 16 is coming. So final equation is k square minus 6k minus 16 greater than zero. Multiply to get 16 and minus to get eight. Uh, the factors are, I think, so eight and two. You can use calculator to get the factors k minus eight. Plus 2 is common, k minus 8. So the k minus 8 and k plus 2. What is my method actually? I told you the small value, the large value, the k, and the same sign I have to use. The small value, when you do it in right hand side, k plus 2 is 0, is coming minus 2. And k minus 8 is 0, is coming 8. So the small value is minus 2. The large value is 8 and we have done question number 4. So by this way we have done 2013 May, June and November past chapters about the topic quadratics. If you think this video is useful please like my video also write in the comments if you want if you demand something I can make the videos. Thank you so much and have a nice day.